Hi guys, uh, it's Nigel, Lock and Key Independent Estate Agents. I hope you're well. Today we're down in Southbrook Road, which is just this property behind me. Um, it's on the favoured Corsham side of town. It's great for amenities because you can get into town quite conveniently, or you can get to Bath or up to Chippenham on the M4. But we're going to have a look at this three bedroom detached. It's on a really good price at 265. It's got a conservatory at the back, it's got a garage, uh, it's double glazed, it's got heating. So, what we're going to do, as you know, with the tours, we're just going to have a look at look around uh, at the amenities in the rows and then once we finish there we're going to flip the camera back into this property and show you around and here we are number 1a South Book Road and this is a red brick three bed detached property there's your garage ample parking look at that the sun's trying to come out this Monday morning uh, South Book Road as I mentioned is on the favoured Corsham side of town and as you go up there you've got uh, a variety of mixed three and four bedroom detached properties if you just turn right you, there's a little link road that will take you in around where links uh, leaks superstore is to the left that will take you into shore you can either go to whitley or further up to Wentworth, and then you can take that road into bath uh, but the caution side of town also has you know access to the m4 there is a train station not so far from here there's a gym down the road so it still has some amenities there's a little pleasant green area down there and just further down if you just turn left um, that will take you back into to Melksham as well and close to the train station so I'm just going to show you around here while we're outside we can just talk about that front there is some side access there that's a pedestrian access gate that will then take you to the rear garden you can also get to the rear garden via the uh, the garage here as one can see but usually you would just use the gate for that and of course you've got your parking which is just in front so what we're going to do we're going to have a little look inside take you inside and show off the the attributes to the property so here we are guys the sun is out it's quite warm now this monday morning it's the 15th today in case you wanted to know but there's the front you've got some attractive little uh, borders there canopy storm porch in front Got that entrance door as we go in so let's let's continue along just as you come in there's a little area there obviously there's some rooms either side the stairs there they go up to that first floor landing let me just bring that camera around a minute and what we're gonna do just gonna close the door i'm just gonna come back on myself from the kitchen area and that will just show you there's a little inner entrance or hall area there's two doors this door will take you to a sitting room this door will take you to the kitchen so just going to poke that in there just so you can see there is a living room there's a conservatory behind which has been extended and of course those are those stairs that go up to the first floor so i think what we're going to do if we go straight and turn left into this kitchen then we can start talking about what it has to offer but you can see it's a nice size this kitchen it's kitchen diner kitchen breakfast room whichever way you want to call it and it's a dual aspect room as well so you've got some door, you know windows that side and windows to the front so let me just talk, walk you through to where the windows are at the front at the rear there and that will just give you a little idea of the garden it's a smallish garden it's very well maintained since it's low maintenance it's got you know decent timber fencing and some borders there so anybody that's uh, that doesn't want to spend a long time in a garden this is perfect There we can see some units, the extractor hood is over. This area there for your white goods, nice big fridge freezer over there, space for your table and chairs. If I just pop this cam camera back out there, that's the front again. You've got plenty of parking in front, so it's pretty decent. I think I mentioned that the train station is not far from here but like I said you know it's a, it's a favoured side of uh, for Melksham because it links into other towns and villages so it's a decent location just there you can obviously see there's a, an area for your bummy for washing machine what I'm just going to do is just turn this around but I think by now we all know kitchens are self-explanatory it's all about your base units work surfaces which you can see here there for dishwashers if you want and wash machines 
what the current owners have done, which is quite cool, so it's a nice sized room, this kitchen. It's just in here, we, we, we've seen where the conservatory is. This would have been an external you know, door to the rear. If I just close that a minute, just open up this door. What they've done, we put it downstairs, Lou. Perfect. So now we've got a three bedroom detached with a downstairs cloakroom. So there's, look, there's your low level WC, your pedestal washer and basins, a little mirror there. But it just shows you what, what you can do for, for an extra toilet downstairs. I'm just gonna show you this room again. And I'm gonna just go back out into the hallway, in the entrance hall where the double glazed door is. So I'm gonna go into the sitting room this way. No reason, just thought it was just natural to show you that. So you can see the two rooms either side of that entrance hall. So this is the room to the right, which is the sitting room. There's a little attractive fireplace there. If I just come back on yourself, there's plenty of room there for your freestanding sofas. I mean, they've got one, two, got another one there, three. So you can see it's a good size. And before I go into that gorgeous conservatory at the back there, which I think really makes the property. And it certainly opens it up. There we go. That's your other aspect to the sitting room, which I think is lovely. And of course, if you're working from home now or you know, you're homeschooling or whatever, having the extra room, which we're gonna show you now, which is the conservatory, I think is a massive, massive big plus to this property. Obviously you get your double glazed window to the front. You've seen the parking, there's your radiator. So why don't we just turn this camera around and show off this conservatory. Before I do, there's some tile flooring. Look at that roof, look how nice that is. Really good, well lit room this. And, it's, and of course you can see these guys working from home. You know, computer set up. They've actually got another room upstairs set up for that. You know, one of the third bedroom. So again, these are the options that are available to people now working from home. But it's double glazed, this conservatory. Really good size as well. Nice radiator just going along the wall. Very nice. I'm just going to give you one last, another angle. And I like to demonstrate the angles and the different, you know, size of the rooms. It's, it shows you the possibilities and how big these things are. So we get a lot of compliments for just taking our time when we do that. So that's the final room downstairs. Um, so just to recap, I've just come out the conservatory. We have this lovely lounge, which is light and airy. We go through the lounge. There's your entrance door to the front and then to the left. Just pop the camera back through here. There's your kitchen diner. And of course, last but not least, just so in case you've forgotten there, I don't think you will, there's an inner passage and there's another loo just that's been built in here. The downstairs cloakroom. So that's the downstairs guys. What we're gonna do next is have a little look upstairs, show you those rooms, the bathrooms, and take it from there. So here we go guys. These are the stairs going up to that first floor landing. There you can see there's a radiator on the landing. Nice double glazed window. Let's in that light on the landing areas, which are so important nowadays. And what I'm gonna do, just gonna turn this around just so you can see that the landing splits off again. You've got a bathroom, another bedroom in there. There's a bedroom in here. And if I just come this side, there's a bedroom in there, which they've got in it as an office. So what we're we gonna do, we're just gonna have a look at this smaller bedroom. So here we can see it's mainly an office. You could put a single bed in there quite comfortably. But you know, most people, if they haven't got two or three children, got one even, or if they're just a couple on their own, this again is ideal for, for an office. I think it's perfect. A little radiator down there. There's your double glazed window, some blinds. Out we come. And what I'm just gonna do is, I'm just gonna go straight ahead into the bathroom just so we can show you this room. So there's a nice double glazed window that lets in the light from here. There's your pedestal wash and basin, low level WC. And of course you've got your shower, panel bath and shower screen. Just show you in there. That's your shower unit up there. Let's bring the 
So around there's a shaver point. There's your double glazed window. Now the current owners also said that they're going to, there's a, there's a chrome style radiator, ladder style radiator there. Um, it's going to do the bathroom. So she's going to spend a bit of money on that. Um, so the bathroom will change, but we wanted to get this on the market. But just to let you know, there's going to be some, some enhancements to this bathroom as well. So that's only going to be a benefit to any of the buyers that are out there. Coming back out of the bathroom, we're back into this landing. I don't always open cupboard doors, but I just wanted to show you there's a tank in there. And plenty of linen shelving, look. Okay. And of course, with any property, you need storage. So this is the boys' room as such, we'll call it. Bedroom two, you can have it as bedroom one if you want. They're pretty much the same. And of course, decent double. Come on in. Get your double glazed window radiator. Just want to show you that front aspect because I think it's decent. So plenty of park in there. And then in here, there's a door. Let's open it up. And of course, you've got another built-in storage cupboard, which you can use as a wardrobe or whatever, or a combination of storage and wardrobe. There we go. So out we come. And then last but not least, if we just turn right and go back into this landing, and we come in here, this is bedroom one. And you've noticed I'm not turning on any lights. You can see it's very well lit, this property. Again, this is a double bedroom. You've got your free standings, your chest of drawers. Just bring this around. And in there, there's a cupboard. I'm not gonna open it. Well, actually I can open it up, but there's no point. That just goes over the stairwell. So there's an extra storage area. I've just opened it, just so you can see. So it's quite a big storage, this. And it just goes in behind there. So there's a bit more to it. So let's just close that off. Just gonna, there's a radiator there where the towel is. There's that front garden again. Nice front garden. You could actually make more space if you want for parking, but it's certainly not needed if you've got two cars there quite comfortably. You just park right on your drive. I'm just gonna come back out, turn this around. And that's it for bedroom one. So hope, we hope you've enjoyed the tour so far with the internal aspects of this property and all its attributes and benefits. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna have a little look outside, take a look in that garden, um, and then I'll obviously uh, take it from there. So here we go guys, as promised, we're gonna have a little look outside now to the rear of the property. So we're just gonna go through these doors. And that lovely double glazed conservatory. You can see the garage door, there's a personal door into. Oh, here, let me just have a look at the garage. Because one of the things I haven't mentioned, I'll just talk about the garage first. Obviously it's chocker block uh, with some bits and pieces, but not to the point where you can't move. There's some useful eaves storage there. There's power connected. Obviously that's the front garage door that's opening up. But if I just come in here, we mentioned the property's double glazed, but there's also gas heating and there's your Worcester boiler, which actually is decent because it's tucked away in the garage. You don't hear it. Um, and you can see that's got gas heating as well with the property. So coming back out, there's your rear garden. Some nice timber fencing, the sun's coming out. Then at the moment. And there's your double glazed conservatory. So here we can see some, some stone, paved, stone paved slabs. There's some steps, of course, and then you've got some nice borders here. So it's quite a small garden. It's not the smallest garden I've ever seen by, uh, by a long shot. It's actually very well maintained, but anyone who doesn't like gardens, they just want to stick a barbecue out there. It's perfect. This is the other side bit to the garden. There's your gate, which I mentioned at the front of the property. You can put your bins there. Um, it just gives you another access point. You can go through the garage, but it makes sense to go through that that part to, just to get to the front if you want to. And then we just walk back out into this area again. 
This is really, really where the main garden is, where you'll probably put your table and chairs and sit outside. Back into the garage there. Gas boilers in the garage. And there we have it. So look guys, I hope you've enjoyed the tour of number 1A Southbrook Road. Um, it's a lovely three bed detached property, very keenly priced, I must add. So it's a three bed detached, gas double glaze, conservatory, downstairs loo, garage, parking, very, very decent property this. Uh, any questions, just give me a nudge. It's Nigel at Lock and Keen Appendant Estate Agents on 01225 707342. We hope you're well. We hope you're all keeping safe. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.